your greatest joy and your greatest pain. Uh, and then and that comes with it too. I know a lot of people that have children that, that, um, are in trouble and, and stuck in the mud, so to speak with different issues, whether it's drug addiction or whatever the case might be. Um, but, oh man, do they love the, that child, you know? And, and I mean, look, even, even Joe Biden loves Hunter. <laughs> look, Absolutely. He no, does. Absolutely. He, he, and, and so like. Absolutely. Absolutely. He hasn't done him a lot of favors by covering up for him all these years, though, obviously. You know, that's another awful thing. That's child abuse, I think, when a parent covers up for their kid all the oh, time. Oh, sure. And sure. Yeah. Like you, you you're need- making an important, you're, you're making an important, important point here, though. Because when it comes to this issue like fatherhood, Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, uh, they get my total respect because it's father-son thing. There's no such thing. There shouldn't be anything uh, to do with partisanship when we get down to conversations like this, Mike. You know that. Well, I mean, if you um, if you look at if you look at all the trouble that Hunter has had, uh, if he oh, had sure. gotten his fingers slapped or or gotten the spanking exactly. early on, sure, he might have sure. turned away sure. from all that stuff. So, like letting kids get away with stuff and not punishing them, like the world around them will punish them at some point, right? Uh, and it Absolutely. looks like Hunter might end up getting investigated, and uh, that you know if that happens, it happens, right? But yeah, I, a lot of parents do a real disservice to their kids by constantly overlooking things that they do and not calling Absolutely. them out on it and not punishing them for it. Uh, you need that. You Absolutely. need punishment. Absolutely. God punishes his children. Uh, Paul wrote in, in, in Hebrews, if, if God does not chasten you, you're a bastard. You don't have a father. <laughs> like if Whom he loves, he chastens. Right. That's the other thing. People think that being a Christian means that you're supposed to be comfortable and happy all the time. Wrong. <laughs> yeah, you got you'll have joy and you'll have peace, but you're going to you're going to walk through the valley of shadow of death once in a while. It's going to happen. I mean, it's a you always you always jog my uh, pre dementia brain. And, and as you're ch- chatting here about that, there's the greatest book that I read way back in the 80s called God's Woodshed. And for the life of me, I can't even remember the author. It's called God's Woodshed. And it is, uh, why uh, <laughs> does God take us out to the woodshed, man? What, like, what's that all about? Uh, and the truth is, once you finish the book, you know, following God is, what is it, one one portion uh, uh, prayer and nine portions uh, effort or work, discipline. Uh, God's woodshed. That was one of the million in a million for me that it's necessary, necessary for us to be disciplined and to have boundaries. Yeah. 